This is the great city of Nineveh. From a distance, it looks like a nice place to visit. But when you reach the front door, it doesn't seem quite so friendly. When you get inside and meet the locals, you might wish you'd never come. Here is the king of Nineveh with his how far can I throw visitors over the wall machine. His record is 352 cubits. Here are some ancient carvings from Nineveh. If you are on holiday, it is best not to visit Nineveh. And this is Jonah, happy at home, a long way from Nineveh. One day, God sent a message to Jonah. Dear Jonah, go to the great city of Nineveh and tell them, stop being nasty or else. They're from God. Jonah liked the idea of God being angry with the people of Nineveh, but he did not like the idea of warning them. They might start behaving and not get into trouble. Besides, he didn't want to help the king break his throwing visitors over the wall record. So, Jonah hopped on a boat to Tarshish and sailed off into the sunset away from Nineveh, away from God. God sent a huge storm with big black clouds and boat breaking waves. Help! cried the captain. Save us! prayed the sailors. <coughs> went Jonah. Wake up, Jonah! yelled the captain. And pray to your God. Whose fault is this? sailors as they began drawing straws. Mine, said Jonah, holding the short straw. I'm running away from God, and I think he might have just caught up with me. You're gonna, you're gonna have to just toss me in that sea. The sailors grabbed Jonah by the arms and legs. One, two, three. And the storm stopped. But God sent a whale to swallow Jonah. For three days and three nights, Jonah was inside the whale. It was too dark to read. Besides, he didn't have a book. He couldn't watch television because he didn't have a television. So, Jonah prayed. Thank you, thank God, thank God, God, saving, God, saving, God saving me. me. I will I do, will, do, I will do, do anything, anything, anything you ask. ask, you ask, you ask. Then the whale swam up to the beach and out popped Jonah. God sent a message to Jonah a second time. Dear Jonah, did you have a nice trip? I hope you had a whale of a time. Now, go to Nineveh and tell them, stop being nasty or else. Love from God. Jonah knocked on the front door of Nineveh. It opened and in he marched. Stop being nasty or else! yelled Jonah. God says stop being nasty or else. When the king heard Jonah, he realised while he enjoyed throwing visitors over the wall, it was not fun for the visitors. So the king stopped being nasty, put on his I'm sorry clothes and asked God to forgive him. Everyone in Nineveh did the same. Here are some more ancient carvings. Jonah was furious. There wasn't going to be an or else. So he stormed out of Nineveh. Jonah sat outside the city and fumed. God grew a bush to shade Jonah. Jonah was happy about the bush. The next day, God sent a worm to munch on the bush. Jonah was angry at the worm. He was also angry at Nineveh and angry at God. Then. God sent another message to Jonah. Dear Jonah, hot enough for you? 
You care about the bush that gave you shade. I care about the people, the girls and boys, and the animals in Nineveh. Shouldn't you? Lots of love, God.